Hi, I'm Keanu Blazy, and I'm here to talk about Tabby Bla Tabby Blazy, my kitty cat. She is a stray cat. She used to be a stray cat. Um, I'll tell you the whole story about it. Me and my sister. Me and my sister were walking home from from um from the park. It was just across the street from our house, and we turn we um well my sister fell off a scooter and and I looked back and we heard a meow and we heard a meow and then all of a sudden Tabby showed up and we actually both saw it people are saying that Kayla my sister say, saw it first, but we both actually saw it first. And Tabby came out, came up to us, and wanted attention, like she was a house cat. Um, like she was a house cat, and she she nuzzled on us, wanting attention, and all of a sudden we we thought that she would be hungry. So we petted her for a minute, and then we went to my mom's house, and we got, we asked her for money, and we told her why. And so we went to the 7-Eleven near our house, and we got cat food, and we came back, and we gave my mom the leftover money. And then we went and fed Tabby the food, and she really scarfed it up, so she was really hungry. But we found her in an alley, and that, that upset me. She had like a scraped off tail, like her all of her fur was off her tail, and I was so sad when that happened. And then we took her one step at a time, taking her to our house, trying to enter her in our house. And she refused a couple first um, three days. On the fourth day, she came in the middle of the night. And she meowed at the door. And then, um, my mom woke up from it and she let her in. And my, my mom said, deal with her. And so I, I did. And she slept in my room. And in the morning, she, she, um, meowed and meowed and woke me up in the middle of the night, actually. And told me to take her outside, so I did. And but the other nights that she would spend in in our house, she would actually pee or poop because we didn't have a litter box. She was a really good cat, and we moved to a different house, and we had to take her to the new house. She she loved it there too. She went outside during the morning, in the evening, and at night time she came in the house and she slept in my room. And I had a litter box at the time, so she wouldn't pee or poof in there anymore. And then there, here comes the sad part. I had to go to Utah to my hometown because we thought it would be better here in Richfield. Utah, I mean, Utah Richfield. This Utah Richfield is where I was born, but now I regret coming here. I wish we just stayed in Colorado because there's a lot of kids making fun of me, especially because I'm making these videos. But it's too hard for me not to. I love being on inter inter on the internet. But the sad part about Tabby is that I had to, um. I had to put her in a crate, and she, I had to take her in Brianna's, I had to take her in my friend's car, and she, she took care of my, my kitty cat, Tabby. She said I could have it back, but then they don't know where, they, they gave it to a person, and they took it to the house, took it to, to another house, and now they don't know where the Tabby is. So, I don't think I'm ever going to see Tabby again, and I just want to say ta to Tabby, 
that I love you and I will always miss you. And that's the end of my story. Thanks for watching.